I expect you guys to show East, or show our veterans and our, our honored guests why East Middle School is one of the best schools in the area.
where the military took over their government and they sent the, the Army and the Navy, Air Force and Marines down there to take care of that issue. So I spent several months in Haiti before, uh, during that coup. I went back a year later uh, and helped them establish or pull security for them while they did their elections that next year and elected a new president. I did a year in South Korea. Korea is a place that's been in the news a lot lately. Exactly 20 years ago, I had my feet in Korean soil. And so it, it's, it's fun to kind of relive those memories, especially with things being so prevalent in today's society. But it's been more gratifying for me to serve our nation as a citizen soldier than any of the other times that I've been uh, serving in my life. In 2005, I decided I was going to do this again, and I enlisted in the Missouri National Guard. My first weekend drill training for the National Guard was Hurricane Katrina. We mobilized in about two days and I went to New Orleans for two and a half weeks cleaning up after that catastrophic event. Prior to Hurricane Rita, Hurricane Rita making landfall, we pulled out to Baton Rouge, waited out part of the storm, and then we deployed through the hurricane to Lake Charles, Louisiana to support that community in their rebuilding efforts. Later, I have be given the opportunity to go to different countries and help build medical uh, clinics in the Dominican Republic. And then in 2009, I was put on orders to go to Iraq. Now, up until this point, I'd gone through a lot of difficult situations. I had a lot of fun. But the hardest thing that I've probably ever done was leave my family to go someplace else. For a year, I did detainee operations. I worked in a, in a US military prison um, in Iraq before coming home. And that's when you really appreciate the things that you have. So if I can just instill a couple of things in young students like yourselves, at this early stage in your life, you're going to be given choices. And it's up to you, and it's up to your, your, your teachers and your mentors to help you find your purpose, your direction, and your motivation through all of this. Now, my direction was pretty clear. It was, it was a family thing. It was in my heritage. My purpose is to help serve the community and to serve this nation and defend the Constitution against all her enemies, foreign and, and domestic. But my motivation is my wife that's sitting here, my children, and my family and this community that supports veterans so well in Joplin, Missouri. And so I try to get back to the community now. I'm still serving with the Missouri National Guard, but I'm also the commander of the Veterans of Foreign Wars, post 534 here in Joplin. And we try to assist other veterans in need on a daily basis. We do community activities, and when we're not out in the community actively trying to help and support those veterans. We try to have a little fun ourselves. So to close, I'd like to thank again for your support for the military and those service members, those men and women, and for these veterans that are in this front row here, I want to give them another special applause for their service and their sacrifice in helping defend our nation and support our communities. Thank you.
Please join us and stand for a presentation of the flag. Please welcome to the stage Ms. Elise Leake as she sings our national anthem. serving to please stand and join in as your song is presented.
sixth grade percussions as they perform My Country Tis a Bee for the first time. Thank you to all the veterans and their families who sacrificed all they have so that we can have freedom. <laughs> 